What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the LFO tool inside the piano roll. We're almost done with all of the piano roll tools, okay? So to get to the LFO tool, it's just like the other tools. You're going to want to go into the piano roll, click the drop down arrow, go to tools, and then it's LFO. You can do all O to get that same tool, but it's just a shortcut for it. All right, so here's the melody that I got right now. We'll just play this main part because this is the part we're going to be editing with the LFO. The LFO is essentially an automation inside the piano roll, okay? So you can automate any one of these things down here. You could do velocity and release, after touch, fine pitch, and et cetera, okay? So we're just going to do it for the velocity. So we're going to pull that up. We're going to do the Alt-O, all right? Now you have your start times and your end times, okay? So you can mess with the value, and you see how it's manipulating the velocity now differently. You can mess with the range speed and then we can go to the end and we can have that either raise up or you know be quieter so maybe we'll kind of have it raise itself in have the velocity be quiet at first and have it raise itself in like this mess with the shape a little bit as well in the phase you can also mess with the Put it as a sine, a triangle, or a square. Let's keep it under sine, and let's see how this sounds. Now. That's pretty dope. It just gives it some dynamics, gives it a little bit of suspense. So as it kind of builds in for that part, any one of these parameters, you can put that LFO on and automate it. You can get some serious sauce if it's done correctly. That's pretty much it for this video, though. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.